Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Tyler Evans from Arite Chiropractic. It's been a few weeks since I've done one of these, but I am uh, excited to be back and sharing some cool information today about a uh, problem that can arise in the upper neck, which is what upper cervical chiropractors focus on. And uh, we're just going to talk a bit today a little bit about the anatomy and how that anatomy can be affected by misalignment in the upper cervical spine. Uh, so today we have this paper. It's called Evaluation of the uh, Cause of Internal Jugular Vein Obstruction on Head and Neck Contrast Enhanced uh, MR Angiography using uh, CT Enhanced as well. Uh, and this is actually out of a Korean journal. came out uh, actually a while ago, 2011. Uh, but this is really interesting if uh, you are an upper cervical chiropractic patient or if you are someone that, that has trouble with uh, possibly uh, pressure problems in the head, uh, blood, blood pressure problems, uh, the way that the upper neck sits, it actually can really heavily affect the fluid that goes in and out of the head. And so I'm going to walk you through some of the, uh, the images here in this paper. But... Um, basically, what they found out, this is, this is a paper that was done at a medical school uh, to actually determine why patients have uh, traumatic uh, tears in their, in their arteries and veins in their neck after they have surgeries because of, it's called a hemorrhage, uh, because of um, the way the patient's positioned during the surgery, like they'll turn the head back and it'll be positioned like that for a while. And when they do, what actually happens is the atlas rotates. So um, we're gonna let's talk about that. So uh, why the, you know why they're talking about this? So um, right up here we have the upper neck uh, anatomy, and we have the internal jugular vein right here, right in the center. Um, it's the one that comes up right here, right in front of C1. You see that little piece of bone right there. Um, that's actually the tr what they call the transverse process of C1. So uh, it's actually this. Okay, so we've got this guy right here. This is a side, sorry, um, like that, that view that was just uh, on that paper. Uh, so this is that transverse process right there. And actually the internal jugular uh, uh, vein comes up right underneath that. And so it can actually lay right on that transverse process right there. And that's actually, um, in this paper, they, they said that it's highly likely that uh, these problems are arising from that. And why, why that's a big deal is because the, the uh, jugular veins, they pull the fluid out of the head. Um, and when they do, the, the, the blood flow, and when they do, the cerebrospinal fluid actually goes with that too because the cerebrospinal fluid has to get out somewhere, so it goes out through the veins. And if it's not, if, if that C1 bone is rotated up there, so here's the, here's the jugular coming down. If C1 is rotated forward, it will push on that and collapse down that vein from just a, a small amount of rotation. It doesn't take much. Here's, here's uh, C1 here, right here, and it can rotate forward. And that uh, that hole where that that jugular vein comes out is is right up right up uh, sorry right up right up there, and so that uh, can collapse that down. It's literally like uh, 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 standing on a hose, and the fluid will not get out. You know, not normally is uh, is anatomy and physiology that direct where there's a problem uh, from a, a you know a bone being out of place, but that that is one case where that can happen, and. Uh, you know, that literally can cause all kinds of things like uh, headaches. It can cause multiple sclerosis from uh, toxins not being drained out of the body. There's actually a group called the CCSVI group, uh, cerebral spinal venous insufficiency, and they are highly um, on, the, on the investigation on, on MS and how MS can be coming from that fluid not escaping from the brain through the internal uh, jugular. So, you know, that is a, a really important thing to look at for anyone, anyone that might be struggling with health issues. Uh, that fluid not getting out of the brain literally means your brain is becoming toxic. The brain is getting sick. And so that upper neck alignment 
it clears that out. It allows that brain, your brain to heal. So not only is chiropractic about, you know, bones and nerves, but it's also about fluid dynamics. And so upper neck alignment in that C1, C2 area is so, so, so important to get that fluid balanced because the fluid's got to get up into the brain and then it's got to escape. And it does that constantly based on, uh, you know, heart rate and, uh, and breathing, getting that fluid up and down. And if that upper neck's out of alignment, it can cut that off. And that is a big, big problem. So if you know of someone that's struggling with health issues, um, maybe even, uh, you know, has, has head pressure sensations, uh, increased, it's called increased intracranial pressure. That is a, uh, possibly a result of that upper neck being out of alignment, collapsing down one of those structures. Um, so a pretty neat, interesting paper there, uh, if you have a look through it. And uh, that came out in 2011, but uh, uh, its implications for upper cervical chiropractic are very, very large. So um, if you're interested, uh, give, us, give us a call at our office, in a retake chiropractic in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Um, we are happy to help and uh, hope you have a great day. Take care.